Hello, my Pisces. Welcome back. All right, so thank you so much for all the support. And to those of you that have booked personal readings with me, I appreciate your patience. I've had a high volume amount of orders and um, especially the last few months. So thank you for waiting and uh, I get to everyone as quickly as I can, all righty. Okay, um, and moving on, this is a general reading. So we're gonna take what resonates and I read how I read. It is what it is. <laughs> if you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. <clears throat> okay, so Pisces, I feel a little like nervous, a little bit excited. December might turn out to be okay for you, actually. I see I see somebody like spying on a soulmate or like watching someone someone. I think it's the masculine watching the feminine. But I mean, whatever. How this however this works for you, but I'm just getting and I'm getting excited. You may receive an offer, an offer of commitment, an offer for an opportunity. Um, it's something that you have wished for. Now, or, or you could be giving someone an offer. I just get like somebody wished a while ago for something like this and it may come to you in December, actually, or, or maybe January. Whenever it's meant to come, but there's something incoming here, Pisces. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I didn't specifically folk. I just, I didn't specifically, I'm sorry. Somebody may not know how to say something or they might get a little tongue tied in their words, but they're going to speak. They're going to make an offer because they can't help it. It just feels like this masculine really wants this feminine. The feminine could be a little bit cold and distant though. I, I, she's that way now is the key word. So I don't know why. Masculine's gonna come in anyway though. Also, for those of you fertile Pisceans, be careful because I'm hearing two, two becoming three, and I don't mean third party. I'm sensing fertility, I'm sensing growth. I, I feel like good energy, spending happy moments with another person. It, this feels very committed. Some of you may be getting married in the future or, or that could be your Christmas surprise for those of you that celebrate I'm just, I mean, look at me, I'm tossing my labradorite. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, whatever this is, someone's going to make you happy here. This could be someone that you have a child with, perhaps a son is what I'm hearing in the future. Or you may already, I don't know, but this feels like a better month. So hang tight, Pisceans. Something, a meeting or a reuniting, doesn't have to be reuniting, but I'm seeing going out together. I don't know where you're at, where you're allowed to go out, but cool, sounds good. I like this so far. I am also hearing for those of you that like to paint, um, I guess they just want you to do it or there could be a painting or there could be something that you do that is significant. One of the pieces, I want to say orange is significant. I, I don't know. And if you don't paint, it's just something artistic that you do. I don't know why I'm picking up the color orange specifically. But they're just, okay. Anyway. Alrighty. What's going on with Pisces and the person that they're dealing with? Please show me Pisces and the person. Show me the person that they're dealing with. Show me the person that Pisces is dealing with. Could be resisting you. Nine of, okay. 
Okay, well, <laughs> I'm hearing that uh, this person gets what they want. Nine of Cups. Okay. They could be a little bit hedonistic. They could like nice things. They could like a lot of, they could have a lot of stuff as well. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck is what I'm picking up. Yeah, I'm just getting a lot of stuff. I feel like they're a fairly jolly spirit here. Okay. <laughs> uh, who's this person that Pisces is dealing with, please? Okay, Seven of Cups again. See, here we go. Now, um, they could be a little bit... Con or Somebody here is confused about what the other person wants. And um, and then then somebody also wants stuff. They like jewelry. They like things. And it's you know, this is kind of interesting. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <clears throat> this person may have a pet or a, a small child that is very um, that gets into stuff little mischievous bugger running around is what I'm picking up. This person could be waiting for you as well. What else about this person? Oh, what else is about this person that Pisces is dealing with, please? Okay, hold on. There's some sort of something in their life that either there is a little bit unclear or out of balance. They could Okay. Ah, interesting. Seven of Swords and Two of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. I'm picking up just an individual that cares a lot about their appearance very charming, um, can be kind of, uh, I can't think of the right word for it, but I'm thinking like singular focus, like fixates on things. What about this person? Hmm. They could also still be tied to something from their past or have a bit of a, like a tendency, like an addictive tendency, could be an earth sign. But I'm getting like, they're still tied to something. They may hide this from you. Okay, this energy is way different than this energy over here. Okay, I have to figure out, what is this devil card for who this who Pisces is dealing with, please? Huh. Okay, well, they could be walking away from something toxic in the past. Maybe they were dealing with somebody who is very possessive. I'm hearing, like, crazy or creepy. They could have... Um, I'm feeling like you. this person just has a, a side to them that you might not know. I'm hearing like possessiveness, controlling, probably addictive tendencies of some sort, but that could be any type of addiction, a chocolate addiction, a shopping addiction. This person likes stuff, okay? Or they have someone in their past that like won't go away. Yeah, because I don't feel like they're in they're interested in whatever this devil is. I, I feel like they're actively de trying to defend themselves from it. And and they may have already walked away. Now they're but they're constantly defending themselves. This person could show up, 
Maybe they call them all the time, they have to block them. So if you've been waiting, you know, here you are Pisces, but um, I'm feeling like this person is sort of stuck, uh, like when in regards to giving you an offer, or someone here is, whoever this energy is that I'm describing, it's like, but I think an offer will come to you or they will make an offer uh, eventually, or you will, but there's gonna be some, it's like, this feels very tangly. I'm ready to skip, I'm ready to go to your side. Let's, let's, let's stop over here. Wow. So yeah, if you wonder what's going on, a lot. <laughs> okay? If you wonder what's going on with this person, tons of stuff. I mean, you could be feeling a little bit disappointed, actually. I'm hearing bipolar as well, or somebody could have like m mood swings, but it's because they have a lot, they're stuck to something. They're trying to walk away from it though, but it's it still plagues them, whatever this is. Okay, um, but I feel like they want to come to you. This devil may m make them confused on what they want. The, dev the devil can be very manipulative. All right, what's going on over here for Pisces in regards to who um, who they're dealing with? What's going on for Pisces, please? What's going on for Pisces? You could reunite with a water sign or perhaps a fire sign. Water, fire, who knows? Regardless, this person has a lot of passion and love for you. Um, I think that you have love for them back, but I don't know. You might have been waiting for a while. Uh, what's going on for Pisces here? Oop, six of Cups. Yeah, somebody's returning to you, Pisces. And if you are one of the Pisces that's like, oh, no, that's not possible, then it's someone that you are going to meet in a public setting, um, and they're going to feel like a soulmate. You'll recognize this immediately. Something about maybe their eyes. But I, I'm feeling like King of Pentacles is back. Back, baby, back. The moon at the bottom of the deck, so here's your energy. But I'm getting like this King of Pentacles maybe could be hiding something about family or money or commitment. Or they could have in the past. What is this King of Pentacles for who Pisces is dealing with? What is this King of Pentacles here? They could have been holding back from speaking to you, but um, but they will. They will reach out. Yeah, there's something toxic about this person's family. You may know this either intuitively or you've seen something. They could choose, you know, this person could have a lot of pride, so they do something with... Um, they do what's best for the family or what's best for the business, you know. Even if it's sucking the life out of them. King of Wands, the devil. So. Hmm. Let me just see, what is this Three of Cups here for Pisces? Hmm. You may have actually wanted to reunite with this person. They could have, you know, you could have thought about them all the time. And maybe you didn't, and you were disappointed. Okay, now... I'm going to throw this scenario out there because I'm hearing this all of a sudden. Some of you could have been waiting to reunite with a water sign. 
the situation ended up, or they have water in their chart, um, or water, air, whatever. Um, the situation ended up being disappointing between you guys, but you thought about them a lot and you really wanted to reunite with them. But in waiting to do so, you met an earth sign. Yeah, and this earth sign is the one I think that I'm mentioning because I'm getting different energies. I'm mentioning with the small child or the pet that's a little feisty. But things could be going slowly here with this person or they could go slowly because somebody is hesitant. Interesting. Hmm. And there is someone here who will give you what you want. I'm getting Nine of Cups on the bottom of this deck and then um, Nine of Cups over here too. So there is wish fulfillment amidst all the muck. I mean, it seems like with the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Devil, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Swords, there is so much going on. But then it's like, it's like something's going to work out though, because the energy that I was picking up in the pre-shuffle was good, was committed, was finding somebody who wants to give you what you want. And I feel... Like you both may be coming out of past energies into an, an entirely new one. I feel like this is probably a new connection for you. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles. I'm putting both sides together because I think eventually through all of this, in comes this. I'm holding my hand over here. I'm just tense, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's like the journey will be well worth it. Somebody may be hesitant to approach you, Pisces, but they will eventually here. Slow to move this person. All right. Um, I, I think, oh, you know what? Uh, let me, sorry, let me pull real quick. Upcoming energy. I kind of already said that I think with this nine of cups twice. Um, what's the upcoming energy for Pisces and the person that they're dealing with, please? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of you, he, the Justice card, this is, well, I always consider this the Justice card. Did I say this earlier or was this a different reading? No, 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 no. I think it was a different reading. Hmm. Uh, well, anyway. Uh, message in a bottle and treasure island. Good news on the horizon for you, especially in regards to money, abundance, your career. I feel like you will get you what you want in more than one way. But there is somebody who's going to come in and make an offer to you. They're going to say something, and this is a this is an offer worth it. Treasure island. I mean, my goodness. Oh yes. You're going to be given a blessing or blessed here. Some of you may win something as well. All right, Piscean. Bye-bye.